Hampton residents are rallying around each other following a deadly double shooting at a gas station, which happened late Monday night off of North King Street. Police say 58-year-old Daryl Higginbotham died from his injuries. Well, today, members of the community came back to the area to show support. Ten on your sides, Kara Dixon joined them as she is with us now in our newsroom with what they're hoping to accomplish, Kara? Yeah, Stephanie and Laura. Now, Hampton police say they've averaged about 15 homicides a year for the last five years. They say it's a traumatic event, not just for those in the area where the, it happened, but the whole city. That's why this team is there to offer support. One, two, three, four. Reset! <laughs> it's their chance to give the community a fresh start by helping it heal. My name's Jean and this is Judy. And we, we've just learned that you had a, a tragic event. Volunteers from across the city of Hampton came together to make sure their fellow residents know they have their backs after a deadly double shooting in the area Monday night. Usually tragedies happen and no one has, don't know what to do or they just stay isolated in their own miseries. But this gives them hope and they know that we're here to support them. They're a part of the reset team. It stands for rapid engagement of support in the event of trauma. They deployed to the North King Street area after someone shot and killed 58 year old Daryl Higginbotham at this gas station. Knocking on doors, engaging people, sharing the information, um, showing them that, that we care about our city. They provide resources to help families move forward from crimes like this. It's not to get information from you. This is the exact opposite of what the police would normally do. But police are also out there helping to show support. This is something these volunteers hope they one day won't have to do. Put us out of a job, we'll be grateful. <laughs> but until they're not needed, they'll keep walking, knocking and giving messages of strength to their community. Keep hope, you know, and know you're not alone. And you know, the reset program is here for you and it's here to assist you. And you do have people who care. You're not alone. Now the reset team will be out in the Kikatan area tomorrow where that deadly officer involved shooting took place this morning. I'm Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.